we are leaving Melide. We're 52 kilometers from Santiago, so getting close. And the rain started early this morning, starting to drizzle. That's supposed to be raining all day and all day tomorrow. So the goal is just to keep going, stop, get dry. Well, warm up, not get dry, and then keep on moving. So uh, yeah, once you get closer, you just wanna just get there. It doesn't matter what the weather is. Okay, there have been a variety of questions that have been floating in my head from other people. Don't know where these will interject into others' Camino planning, but I'll just give, a, give out a few um, questions and answers. One, I had mentioned earlier about different places to stay. Um, another thing to consider is um, how much time you have in planning your own Camino. I personally think that pretty much any family can plan like three days, two nights. That's how we started off doing this, three nights at a, or three days at a time, two nights. And um, I think it's a great thing for kids who can do some walking or a lot of walking to just walk for a day, sleep someplace, walk for another day, sleep and then walk. Um, and you can sort of plan it out no matter where in the world you are, even if it's just doing a loop and then you stay at a hotel or something and just take the day walking um, or an Airbnb or something like that. It teaches a lot of great lessons about uh, distance, about seeing God's creation and like looking at things that you, you would miss just driving by it, what you should carry, um, everything. Uh, even first aid or physical ability or strength. So I think that we started with three days and then we moved to like six or seven days when the kids were a little bit older and we carried more things and we just structured it out. This is how far we think they can go. And so then we got Airbnbs along the way and that was a huge adventure. Um, we haven't done it where we carry our, our gear and all of our food. We typically carry food for a couple of days but not even everything. Uh, we just have snacks for days and days and days. We could eat, we have enough calories to survive a couple of days, but we aren't carrying tents. So I think that's um, fantastic. And then, you know, this is obviously a 30 day plus challenge of what we're doing, which is unique, but not for everybody. But I think starting with three days is great. And then up to seven and then beyond. Well, our front wheel broke, um, the screw popped out, and then it started to crack along the, on the seam that holds the front wheel in place. So now we have to do it wheelie style, um, which is less than ideal because if you do that, then the brake rubs and the big wheel. We gotta figure out how to fix that. We still have kilometers. Okay. This is what we res we resorted to.
Weather is a little less than ideal, but uh, what to, what's to be expected here? The sun came out for a few minutes to lull us into a false security, false dryness, but I think we're going to get some more rain here shortly. But while it lasted, it was beautiful. Now, we've tried a couple different fixes. A guy named Ryan was trying to help us figure out the wheel, but I think we're going to have to go find him in the shop. See if we can figure out how to solid weld it on and turn this little cart into something even more indestructible. I hope. But until then, just keep walking and doing a little balancing act up and down the hills. Back to the rain, we're about a kilometer and a half from our uh, uh, from our albergue, and we've got kids crying. Well, a child crying, saying, "I don't like this." So, I don't think anybody. We made it to, a, to our albergue, got checked in, ate something, and now it's to figure out this stroller or just figure out what we're not going to take to Santiago and try and just wheelie it in. So that's what this afternoon is all about. Okay, at the albergue, they showed me their tool room and this is what I had to work with here. So what I did is I took the wheel off and what holds the wheel, the yoke, I assume this is called, and realized that my issue is right here. It's only fastened on to the stroller with two screws. And um, those both, uh, well, one broke out and the other one just bent it, it snapped. Um, you can see it just sort of wrenched it. So my thought is if I put a couple more screws in this, mount it back on, put more screws into it, Maybe it'll give enough strength to move forward until we can get something a little bit more permanent. Now I've just got to look through here, see if I can find a drill bit and some screws that will fit in a drill and see if we can't put it back together enough to make it to Santiago. Okay, so can't find drill bits. Did find a drill, has a bit, however, it can't take it off because it appears to be broken and I haven't quite figured out how to take this out but I did find self-tapping screws which I think would work if I had a drill so I'm gonna see if I can take this apart if I can't then I'm gonna have to find somebody with the drill so I can put the self-tapping screws in and just put a whole bunch of them in and see if that will hold it enough I don't know okay here is where we are at now. I remounted it. I found some self-tapping screws. What we didn't have is a drill. So just manually turning them until my forearms came out. Uh, but we have, I put two in there and that seems to be more stable than for sure it was earlier today. 
And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a few extra, stop tomorrow as we go, see if I can find someone with a drill that can just put in at least two more on each side because right now it's in and it's on there, but it's gonna need a lot more reinforcement. So that's where we're at.